Hi everyone, Jasper Basson here. Thank you very much for watching. Today's topic is about the frequently asked question that I receive from, from clients in my practice and that is when do I need to register for VAT or do I actually need to register for VAT at all? So the general rule is you can voluntary do a, do a voluntary VAT application when your turnover is more than 50,000 rand per annum. So that's very easy to register. If you want to register, you just need to do a turnover of more than 50,000 rand per annum. And then the second aspect is a compulsory registration. And that's the moment you can determine that your turnover would be more than a million rand per annum and the financial, in the financial year of March to February. And if you divide that million in 12 months, uh, you look at about 83,000 rand per month. So if your turnover for for two, three months consecutive is more than 83,000 rand per month, and it seems to be the case going forward, it's very important to, in the next month, actually re register for VAT as a compulsory VAT registration. So some of the questions that we get as well is, my turnover is more than a million rand, I don't charge VAT, so I don't have to register for VAT, I've got no issue, I've, there's no, uh, there won't be any repercussions to my business. SARS can look at your business and if they review that you need had to be registered about a year or two ago, they can, de they can re um, de uh, backdate your, your VAT application to a period that they feel comfortable with and all the sales that you've done they deem to be VAT inclusive. So it doesn't matter if you actually charge the VAT, you would need to in deem the VAT to be inclusive in that invoices. So it's very important to, to note that you need to be very sure of your turnover on a monthly basis and the moment you reach 83,000 rand per month, closely look, look at your continuous in the next month or two at your sales and if it if you can if you see the trend it's going to be more than 83,000 rand per month, you have to register for that. You've got no choice. There's a few of um, industries that, that's exempted from that, that you don't have to register. And two good examples are schools and also taxis. Thank you very much for watching. If you find any value from this video, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also please share this with a fellow entrepreneur friend.